I'm a Pakistani by birth, a Canadian by choice, and Islam is my spiritual journey. But before I go any further, I should share with you that uh, my name Rahil means traveler, and I do enjoy air travel, but it's not so much fun anymore. And in North America, where uh, health costs are very high, they tell you that uh, you can have a free x-ray at the airport. You can also have a mammogram. And if you use the word Al-Qaeda, they'll also give you a free colonoscopy. <laughs> So I didn't. <laughs> so I started off by telling you that uh, Islam is my spiritual journey. And I use the term spiritual by choice because uh, it's important to clarify right off the top that faith is not politics and politics is not faith. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the difference between political Islam, which we call Islamism, and the spiritual message of the faith. The spiritual message of the faith has within it the potential to be part of world civilization and is really no different from any other monotheistic faith. Fortunately for all of us, the world's 1.5 billion Muslims are not pursuing political Islam. If you were to ask me whether I observe Sharia in my life, the answer would be yes. Now before you all get your backs up, Allow me to share with you that we are fighting a battle of ideas. And this is why we need to be very well informed and knowledgeable because knowledge is the only weapon of mass instruction that we have. Unfortunately, ignorance, ignorance on this issue from both sides has led to bigotry and hatred, clashing with um, apologists yelling Islamophobia, and it has also created problems in mainstream media. So let me try and bring some clarity. The word Sharia, it means flowing path to water. It's an Arabic word. It reflects fluidity. It is mentioned only three times in the Quran where it refers to moral and ethical guidance. And this is something that is supposed to be part of our lives throughout changes and adapting to time and place. In other words, to be currently up to, up to time. Now, observant Muslims implement the moral and ethical guidelines of Sharia in their life, governing strictly religious matters such as a special diet, fasting, charity, prayer, prenuptial agreements, issues of birth and death, without any side effects because A, they're not forcing it in the public sphere, and B, they're not using it as a parallel legal system in a non-Muslim environment.